Bex is talking through the games. What are the predictions? Um, I can give you some predictions for sure. I've been wanting to do this all week, actually. <laughs> I've been looking at this. Bex's big toe and three free subs. Some months to the Empire. I, that's not a bad idea. What about what about the old pinky toe? Do it. Do it only if they disconnect. Cash is the dark horse this season. I mean, he made he made a statement last season. He was stopped because he had to play a Sarah in the semifinals. Honestly, okay, we'll just start bubbles in Uvatha. Well, I mean, is there even a question? Is that even a question? Are you stupid? Are you foolish? The Emperor moves on. I, I can't. Uh, that's that's foreshadowing. That's too much foreshadowing. I, I gotta win the game first. Shame. Oh, whoops. And uh, winning, winning's not gonna be easy. Gotta, gotta remember that. Anyways, wakes and Sofato. I feel like, I mean, I, I've seen a couple of wakes builds, and you know, he's. I think he's actually hailing from either China or Japan. You know, he's got he's got that factor. He's got the because there's those League League of Legends players. Very good, very good. But Safado, I, I played Safado. I think Safado wins that pretty pretty handily, to be honest. Two games is zero, right then and there. Hold just Safado, the sofa. Casually and Tay, <sighs> gotta give it to Casually, right? So Casually, guys. And then Bubs and the Emperor, or Bubs and a Sarah. I mean, I'd love to bet on the Emperor, right? Love to bet on myself. Ah, uh, but a three-time back-to-back-to-back defending, undisputed, undefeated Total War League champion of the world, a Sarah. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no way. There's no way. A Sarah. London and Leon. Leon, no. Le Leon had a poor showing. Poor showing in his final game against Tay. Disappointing pick. Nervi, I pick against a uh, Roxalani. I question his tactics. And London is a is a horse archer specialist. He's not actually brought one single melee unit. We'll see what it changes in this way around. But I really don't see Leon even putting up any any sort of threat. I got London. I got the big dog. Easily moving on. Ragnar and Beck. I've not seen Ragnar play. I think I've seen him play once. I think it was against uh, Barca, I believe. Both both brought some melee builds. Ragnar looked beatable. Personally, he looked beatable. He looked beatable. Beck, a solid player. His Gate build, super strong, super mighty. He he brings those five noble sword. Tough to beat. Tough to tough to fight. This is a toss up. I think Beck gets one game, but uh. I'm going, I'm going with Ragnar. I'm going with the newcomer. The new coming bastard. The new coming scum. Moore and Conan. I love you, Conan. Surely I do. I do love you. I do. But. I played Moore. I know what he's capable of. I, um, I'm i going to have to go with Moore. Too damn good. Levi and Barca. Levi's been bragging about this hidden secret strategy. He wants to try it. He wants to do it. But once again, Barca's back into the into the, into the swing of things, back into the realm. Levi gets one game. He gets one. He plays he plays game number three close. But Barca. Too much to handle. And Hammy moves on your final eight. What a stacked final eight. Jesus. Look at it. Look at it. Casually and Bobby, Aser and Safado, London and Ragnar. Moore and Hammy. This would be a dream. This would honestly be a dream final eight. Uh, Safado. I did. I've seen Safado play. So keep in mind, it's a best of three. Use it or lose it. So once you use your units or your faction, uh, you can't use them. Can't use them again. So we'll see what Safado and Sarah has been here for three seasons, mind you, three seasons. He's the most seasoned veteran. He's the strongest fighter. Safado did not finish first in his group. Solid player, but I've seen a Sarah play. I've seen his might. I've seen his girth. A Sarah 
secures his spot into the semifinals. Easy. Easy. I'm, I'm calling I'm calling it two game to zero. Two games to zero, yes. Two. Count it two. Marshmallows. And uh, it, ain't, it ain't even going to be close. Surely it's not. Surely it's not. Now I gotta get this next song. Where is it? There's the song. Why wasn't that song coming up? Shame. Casually and Bobby. Oof. You know, pardon me. I, I want to see. I want to see casually. I want to see casually and Bobby. Or sorry. I want. I want to see Bobby and Asair. I want to see a rematch. A rematch of the Total War League Season 3 Finals. Bobby pulled a game off of Asair. And keep in mind, Asair dropped a game to Casually as well. So both, both players strong. Bobby, Bobby, he's kind of, he's, he's kind of falling a little bit out of favor of the Emperor, but still a strong fighter. Still somebody I do not want to play. That I certainly do not want to play. We have a rematch of the Total War League Season 3 Finals in the semi-finals of Sarah and Bobby. That is going to be a monumental, a mountainous matchup. I think Cashley's... This is going to be... This could go either way. Cashley could win, honestly. But... I'm, I'm going with Bobby. I'm going with Big Bobby. Bex is Cashley's the only true OG? Oh, kind of. What about a Sarah? At this point, I said a Sarah is uh, an OG. London and Ragger. On, this, this is a coin flip. I got no idea. Let's go Snow's ideas. Ragnar, the trash talk high, London undefeated. London only going horse archer spam. I'm going with Ragnar. Get that horse archer spammer out of my game. Out of the league. Gone. Now more and Hammy. We see more. He carried the 3v3 team to victory. Carried them to victory? I don't know. I just not nice. Can he do it here in the 1v1? Nobody, nobody behind him. Just himself. Against a renowned, well-respected, well-known, probably probably one of the most famous Rome 2 players, Hamilcar Barca. You know, my producer's telling me I gotta pick Barca. There you go. Barca moves on. Boom. It is a business to Asair and Bobby. Here's the thing, if Bobby can keep his head central, keep his head steady, he can win this battle. He can win this best of three semi-final matchup. Surely he can. But, but, Asera's so steady, so consistent, and he's been the champion three times in a row, and that is for a reason. Asera returns again. The dream four time back to back to back to back. Champion is still in place. Still in place. Frankie got the link. Thank you so much. Good lord. I will pull that over there. Thank you so much. Except it's not set up correctly. Aliens, is the tournament's close to ending? It, we're supposed to finish it this week. I, uh, I'm running into a little bit of issues, but uh, we'll, see, we'll see what we get played. Ragnar and Hammy. Once again, I wish I've seen more Ragnar. I, they did play in the group play. Hammy won. History repeats itself. Hammy in the finals. And your world championship. Best player of Rome 2. Best of five extravaganza. Hamilcar Barca and Osser. Can Osser repeat? Or will he crumble? Will he fall? Will he be slaughtered? Will he be murdered? Yes, he will be. Barca ends the dynasty. Sends Asair packing home, back home, back to Mother Russia, back to Putin, and Barca will be a victor. Barca will be a champion. And it is being screenshot it. Somebody screenshot it. This is, this is the bracket of brackets. I'm going to screenshot it myself. This is the final bracket. There you go. The, the Emperor's predicted bracket. <sighs> Get out of my face. Come on. So people don't get confused. Click. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mark was American. He is American. He'll, he'll be the first American and first North American champion ending the Europeans reign. So obviously Barca's got my, uh, he's got the backing of the emperor.